Hey guys, it's Monday. Still super stoked about the weekend. It was so awesome. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys did so much good. You competed. You grinded. You're never back down. You were never scared. You were never intimidated. And you went to work. Super, super, super proud of you guys. A um, couple of things I want to talk about over the weekend. Um, some things we can get better. Some things we kind of need to think about. Um, base running was a whole lot better. We were aggressive. We took extra base, bases. Um, we read change-ups. We read balls in the dirt. Um, stay focused every pitch. Stay focused every pitch. Read the ball out of the pitcher's hand. If it is in the dirt and you get a good jump, let's go, right? Let, let's take advantage of the extra base. Let's get 60 feet closer um, to home home plate. We got to score, right? Um, know the position of the outfield. I feel like we were, we were about one step late on some jumps because we didn't know where the outfielders were. Before you step on that bag, or before the, the batter gets in there and takes her cuts, you got to see where the outfield is. See if they're shallow. See if they're shifted. See where they're at. If you know that the right fielder is playing deep and you see the ball um, come off the bat at not very hard and you know it's going to drop, let's go. We're scoring on that. We don't want to have to press on a play because you don't know where the outfield set up. Know your outfield. Know how fast they are. Um, know where they're set up. Know where the holes are. Know how deep they are. Know how short they are. Okay, this will be a huge advantage. If that outfielder has to take two steps to the right, two steps to the left, we're going two bases, right? Um, so know where the outfield's positioned um, and know how hard the ball is hit. I felt like there were a couple times where we could have gone on balls that weren't hit very hard or were shallow, but we didn't know how, how hard the ball was hit. Know how hard it's hit. If it is a shot to the outfield and it goes to the fence, right, and it's a shot, know how hard it is. Know how hard the ball is hit um, and where it's going. We're still coming off taking a lead and not coming off taking a steal lead. We want to steal every time. We want to take advantage of a hit every time, okay? So we're stealing every pitch, stealing every pitch. Um, we're not taking a lead every pitch. And I feel like a lot of us are still taking a lead, going out there, freezing in a basketball position. Instead of stealing, defense stops you, now I'm going back hard. You're stealing or the batter's getting a hit every pitch, we're not coming off like a basketball. And we're not going to go out there and play with the runners. They're, the higher we get, you don't play with the run, you or you don't play with the catcher. I'm sorry. We're not playing with the catcher. We're going out hard, thinking steal, thinking change up, thinking ball in the dirt, thinking hit. And if that it's not that, we're getting back hard. Okay. Um, challenge the catcher too. Make her make her overthrow. You can get back. You can dive. Um, challenge them. Uh, we got to be better at shutting down with two outs. Our our opponent scored a lot of runs with two outs. We have to shut it down. We have to shut it down with two outs. We did a great job of getting the first two out, and then a runner got on with a hit or a walk or something. Um, cut it down. Two outs, we're going into shutdown mode. We're going to grind and fight as hard as we can fight to get that third out. We're giving up too much with two outs. Um, pitchers, we got to work in a tighter window. Okay, your ball's got to work in a tighter window off the plate. All right, we're, we're leaving it too much on the plate, um, and we have to work in a tight window. we got to find the, find the ump strike zone and work in that tight window. Our misses are, are too big, okay, that they're too far off the pl plate. We're not trying to waste a pitch, right? We're, we're, we're not just going to give a ball, right? Strikes are hard to come by, Um we, we want every ball to, you know, we want the batter with an 0-2 count, we want the batter to chase, but we don't want to waste pitch. We don't want to just give her a ball. We want it to be two balls off, right, and make her chase. She's not going to chase at something that's not realistically a strike that she knows is going to be a ball. So our misses are too big and our strikes are too platy, okay? So, so we got to work those tight windows in the river, Tight window. I want your ball to be able to slide through a tight window um, on the river, in and out. Um, 
Also, we're leaving it too much in the T-zone. We're leaving it at the belt. If you leave it at the belt, the batters can get lucky. Okay, we got to work at the hands. We got to work at the knees. We got to work at the hands. We got to work at the knees. Find the umpire strike zone. Find where he calls and use it to your advantage. Um, command the zone. Command. I want you to be pitchers, not just throwers. You command and you put the ball where you want it. Um, spin it, right? Keep the hand in tight and spin it with those fingers. Spin it with those fingers. Uh, we got to be better at change-ups, okay? I want you guys to really dial in this week on change-ups. I want you to really work low, get a good low change-up, and let's work it for a strike, okay? I need our change-ups to be strikes, and I need us to be able to throw them on any count. Um, outfielders, we have to know the speed off the bat. How hard was that ball hit? Because that's going to be your first step move. You have to recognize how hard that ball was hit. First step move. If it's not a hard ball hit, boom, my first step's forward. If it's an average ball, my first step's sideways. If it's a hard ball, my first step's back. You have to have recognition of how hard the ball is hit off that bat. And you have to know the direction of the ball. Where is it going and what type of angle do I have to take? We're a step late and our angles are a little bit off. Um, you also have to know the height and the elevation of the pitch. The line drive to the outfield is super, super, super hard to judge. So you have to understand how high the ball is hit, right? How high is it hit? If it's staying on a rope, it's going to go over your head, okay? If it's a low line drive, it's going to go over your head. You're going to think you need to come in on it. That's going to be your first reaction. That's where how hard is it hit and how much elevation did we get? How much time do I have to get underneath the fly ball? And um, the direction, the speed of the ball, the direction of the ball, and the height and elevation of the ball are things that we have to get better on. You have to recognize these. We need to make it our top priority because we can take extra base hits away. We, we had a lot of extra base hits hit on us this weekend, but Audi's, Go catch one. Go catch it. Go in the gap and catch a ball. And, and let's move based on every pitch. If it's an inside pitch, let's move a little bit. If it's an outside pitch, let's creep a little bit. Um, so we've got to be able to recognize, recognize those to take those extra base hits away. Um, relays. We had a couple uh, relay uh, issues. Middles. You've got to go out and get those balls. I want you in the grass. I want you super far out. That way you can get a little bit of mo open up and get momentum going towards the base you're throwing to and kind of go with the ball that's being thrown. We're not getting out far enough, therefore we're not getting momentum. So go out there, arms up, yelling at them. Line yourself up. Put your head on a swivel. Know where you're at on the field. Go far out. That way you can create momentum to the base that you're going. Open up, create momentum to the base that you're going. Um, everyone on the field should have field awareness. You should know where you're at on the field. You should know what the field looks like. You should know how you are from how far away you are from the fences. Um, where you, if you're in a line towards home, if you're in a line towards third, you put your head on a swivel and you know the field. Line yourselves up. See the field. Have field awareness. Um, bunts that were a little bit better this week weekend. We have to execute. If I give you a bunt and it is close to being a strike, I expect you to expect you to put the bunt down. Do not put, do not pull back on a strike when I give you a bunt. Okay, if it is a strike and it is close to the zone, you execute. You put the bunt down. We pulled back on too many strikes when I give you gave you guys the bunt sign. Get the bunts down and execute. Do your job. Do your job. Um, we got to be disciplined at the, at the plate. We had too many strikeouts in big situations. Um, we got to be disciplined. I felt like we swung at a lot of balls, and I felt like we watched a lot of strikes. Okay, um, be disciplined at the plate and have a plan. We've talked a lot about that. We need to start executing that. Okay, disciplined at the plate. Have a plan of what you're going to swing swing at. And if she brings it there, you take it yard. You take it yard. Um, we had the ball on the ground a lot this weekend. Um, I want some line drives. Let's get the ball off the ground and let's hit line drives. Uh, I think our ground ball percentage was way... 
uh, higher than our fly ball percentage. We got to hit it deep, guys. We, we got to be swinging it big and hitting it deep. That's what the college coaches want to see. They they don't want to see the ball on the ground. We gotta we gotta get line drives and we gotta hit it deep. Uh, we left 32 runners on base. 32. You know we're gonna break it. We're gonna break it because we're gonna have a different perspective. We're gonna be big in big situations because we're gonna look at it as an opportunity and we're gonna get the job done. Okay. And if we don't, we're gonna grow from it. Um. Defense was awesome. Defense, we only made three errors in six games. I mean, I'm so proud of you guys. That's big time. That's huge. And, and the balls are being hit hard. So I'm super proud of you guys. You came up, you know, and, and you fought. We had some good hits. We had a lot, a lot, a lot of good things. Defense was good. Pitching was good at times. Hitting was good at times. You know, we did a lot of good. Let's grow from it. Let's move on. Let's be better today than we were yesterday. Okay, growth. It's about being uncomfortable. We are growing. If we are not uncomfortable, then we are not growing. Then we are remaining the same. Have a purpose this week on what you are working on. Have a purpose this week on how we're going to get better. Don't just go and take 100 cuts. Take 100 cuts purpose, with a purpose. Do something to get better. Okay? Super proud of you guys. Super excited for this weekend. Um, you guys have a good Monday.